Did you like how I threw that word Trump in my title? (laughs) It's not about the personal nerd. It's about a verb that I used just to point out that our government has now elevated gay marriage, gay sex, to the level of traditional marriage. Even beyond, they're going to support this more than anything else. So the Respect for Marriage Act was passed this week, which is about gay marriage. The Supreme Court will begin hearing this week another one of those cases. This one's about a web designer, a lady who has refused to build a bridal website for a gay couple because of her faith. So they're suing. Now, let me give you a scenario to think about before we go further with this. Imagine a world where the only sex taking place was gay sex. Now, you've heard the phrase with climate change that it's an existential threat to humanity. Well, listen, if the only sex going on is gay sex, there will be no humanity. It will be extinct after one generation. Let me give you another scenario. A little background first. This is a woman of faith. I'm a man of faith. I believe the Bible. I believe God created all that is. And his word is in the Bible. And he gives us his design, his, you know, sort of how to live while we're here on this earth. And he talks about sex. And he says sex is reserved for a man and a woman in a covenant relationship, committed to each other and to him for life. They only have sex with each other. And of course, they're going to have lots of kids with that. Now, imagine a world where the only sex taking place was within the traditional marriage. Wow. Let's talk about that. Now, obviously, generation after generation would live on and be mightily populated with healthy kids, I might add. Add to that, there'll be no discussion of abortion at the next election. There'll be no need for Congress or the Supreme Court to spend time dealing with sex. There will be a great decrease in crime and poverty as well as social dysfunctions of all kinds because the traditional marriage is the healthiest family that there could be. You know, Thomas Jefferson in that letter talked about the separation of church and state. I wish he'd added this, the separation of sex and state. Why the state is spending so much time on sex is beyond me. And you know what? I remember back in the day, I had gay friends, and they would say to me, Bill, we just want the government to stay out of our bedrooms, and we don't want to be discriminated against because of what we do or, you know, who we are. And I said, you know what? I am with you 100% with that. However, please don't go to the next level where all of a sudden I have to affirm this. I've got to encourage this. I have to celebrate this. I've got to use my tax dollars to pay so you know it can be indoctrinated uh, in the schools with our kids or that the government will have to you know legalize and support and do all kinds of things with, with what you're doing. And so now we've got that. And I have to give credit to the LGBT community because they've hammered us every day for decades that gay sex, hey, It's good, it's moral, it's healthy, it's fun. Uh, Kids will love it. It makes the military stronger. It's just going to be great for society. Now, that is utter hogwash, but that's what's been said. I think most Americans have been hit so much with that. You know, the stars are above their head and they're like, okay, you know, whatever. Let me tell you something. It breaks my heart that you can't read a Bible in a public elementary school, but you can bring in a drag queen to do story hour and read about gay sex. It kills me that the greatest story ever told, the manger scene, you can't put that on public property, but you could throw up a gay pride flag on every government poll throughout the world. Listen, I realize democracy says, you may say, you know what, this is all okay with me, and you have that right, but for me, it is so wrong.